Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to start a new series on these uh, short trainings um, and that's going to be about uh, macros and pieces of code, VBA code specifically that you can uh, write and use to automate actions in um, Office or in Windows in general. We're going to start with a short macro with a short piece of code that you can use to uh, that you can use and run to insert a new worksheet and uh, name it with a, a specific name with a name which is meaningful to you okay to begin writing the VBA code and uh, develop the module you need to have the developer tab active right if it's not active in uh, office for Mac the one that I'm using is Excel preferences go to ribbon and you make sure the developer tab is checked it's the same thing for uh, Microsoft Office for Windows uh, uh, you need to go to properties um, same, uh, customize ribbon and make sure the developer tab is checked okay? so we have the developer tab now you click it you end up over here and you click on the editor so the project editor will open and you, we, we're going to insert a new module, right? A module is a collect, it's a collection of uh, sub functions, a collection of uh, of macros that you can call them from inside the project and execute them, right? So we we're going to write a sm small piece of code to add a new sheet, right? So let's do a sub function, sub function. Let's name it uh, I don't know, add shipment, right? function so we need that there we go okay to add a new worksheet you need to have an active worksheet which means we need to select one right so sheets um, let's select uh, sheet one because it's the only one we have select right then uh, we're gonna add the sheet sheet add right, let's there we go um, when you do the add function, it's going to add a sheet just before the sheet is selected. Okay, so the sheet is going to be added uh, before sheet one right here. Um, let's give it a name. Sheet. So we're going to select the one that we added, which is going to be sheet two. It's going to get the next number, right? So that name, and the name is going to be I don't know, testing. Testing. Okay. There we go. So we have a small script to select a sheet, a worksheet, add one before it, and then name that specific one to testing. Okay. Let's run it. You go to run, run sub user form is the same in uh, Microsoft Office for Windows. Run it. And there you go. You have it. There's a new worksheet right here and name testing. Okay. All right, we're going to have more to come. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and uh, more information on our blog, watermark the bottom of this video. Thank you.